Hello and welcome to this video series on how to do serverless with Knative. Knative allows you to deploy any of your modern application workloads on top of Kubernetes and run them in serverless way. Knative also introduces a simpler programming model on how to build and deploy Kubernetes services. Red Hat OpenShift Serverless is the Red Hat supported version of Knative that allows you to build and deploy serverless event-driven application on top of Red Hat OpenShift. As part of this video of this series, let's see how to deploy your first serverless application. It's assumed that you already have Red Hat OpenShift Serverless installed on your OpenShift container platform. If you're not done so, please do check the video link as part of the description before you proceed further. Once the operator has been successfully installed, the operator creates a bunch of namespaces to install the Knative components. They are Knative Serving, where the Knative Serving components are installed, and Knative Eventing, where the Knative Eventing components are installed. For this demo, we are going to be taking care of only about Knative Serving. So let's get into that namespace. And when I click on Install Operators, I should see the Red Hat OpenShift Serverless operator here, and then it provides these APIs as described earlier, Knative Serving, Eventing, and Kafka. Now click on Knative Serving, and then click Create the API, and click Create. So it takes a few moments for the pods to install the Knative Serving components. Let's wait for that before proceeding further. So as you see right now, a bunch of pods getting created, and the Knative Serving components becomes ready. We can also watch the status of this and going to Install Operators, Red Hat OpenShift Serverless and click on Knative Serving where it should, it should show you the status of where this particular component right now been. Let's give it a few minutes for this particular stuff to install and get completed. As I said earlier, after a few minutes, you should see the Knative Serving component install with the status showing the actual conditions of the components to be ready, which means we are good to deploy our first serverless application. With the Kennedy serving component ready, let's go and deploy our first serverless application. For that, we have to go from administrator perspective to the developer perspective. And I'm going to shift to a namespace called as My Apps, so where I'm going to deploy my serverless application. From the topology view, we can go and click container image because I'm going to deploy a container image from a repository. And let's give a few seconds for this image to be validated and it's there and I'm going to leave other things to default. When you scroll down on the resources section, you should see something called a scanner service. I'm going to choose this and then leave other things to default and click create. Let's give a few seconds for this to be deployed. It has to pull down the image and deploy the application. I'm going to watch that for. You see the containers getting created right now. Let me drag this a little bit further and wait for the containers to be up and running. There we go. The container is running right now. And there you go. Your first Kennedy service is deployed and you get a route through which I can access the service as well. Let's go click this one to see if I'm able to access the service. And there we go. So we get a simple response, hi from Greeter, when I access the service. And the service is up and running right now. But wait. I said this is serverless, right? Which means that if I'm not doing anything, the service has to come down. That's exactly what we are going to do right now. I'm not going to access a service for a few seconds, say a minute or so. You should see the application automatically scaling down to zero. Let's wait to watch for that. And there you see, since we have not accessed a service for a few minutes, I should say a few seconds, less than a minute or so, the application is scaling down to zero. And again, if you want to make it active, I'm just going to go back to the browser. So let me pull this out here and just do a refresh to see the service up and running for you again. And there you see, the service is up and running for you in fraction of seconds because I'm giving an access so the service has to come up to serve your request and that's exactly what it did for you. So far in this series, we saw how to install Red Hat OpenShift Serverless and deploy your very first serverless application. As part of the upcoming videos of this series, we'll see how to create revisions, do traffic distribution, and make your serverless applications respond to external event sources.